What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Rob DeLuce, aka Mega De Blow, is a British modder who took first in the concept design stage for the 2019 Thermaltake Case Mod Invitational with his elaborate render he named Jarvis. Well, it's no longer just a design, it's been built and it's incredible. Let's go hear from him. Hi, my name is Rob DeLuce. I'm also known online as Mega Deep Law. Today, I just want to show you my completed build that I did for Thermal Take Invitational 2019. It's taken quite a while to get to this stage. There's been a lot of design process involved, 3D printing, and then the actual physical building of the computer. The main inspiration for this particular build came from my love of comic book characters, especially superheroes like Iron Man. This is basically a Jarvis computer build, similar to what Tony Stark used in the Iron Man movies and the Avengers movies. The idea behind it is that the gantry system which the case is sat on has got two robotic arms on either side and these arms are basically putting the computer together. The main structure of it is made out of MDF wood and then it's been strengthened with some 2 before as well. It's been painstakingly sanded down and then after several layers of undercoat and base coat, I finished it off with a nice gloss paint. The side parts are mainly matte black and satin black with just a little bit of gloss. They're also made out of MDF following the same process as the base. The case has had several things done to it. Mainly the front panel and the top panel has had my own design put onto it with a light effect behind it. The sides of the case have had the panels removed They've been sanded down, painted with a gloss black and then gone over and airbrushed with a nice chrome effect. The arms are painted with a nice steel colour made out of about 38 individual 3D printed parts which I designed myself from scratch. The arms have around 5 points of mobility. The hands also have around 4 joints on them as well so they can manoeuvre and grip just about any size component. On the left side of the case, it's installing the Creative Sound Blaster card. Down on the bottom of the other side, you can see it's got the cooler part of the GeForce RTX 2080 card. That's just the cooler part. The main PCB is actually installed in the computer with a Thermaltake water block on there, keeping it cool. The SSD is running the Thermaltake software on there. And then I have an M.2 card from Adata as well, which is inside. All the cooling has been provided by Thermaltake, so we've got the 360 radiators, the D5 pumps, and also the DDR in this build is water-cooled, which is the first time I've ever used the water cool memory from Thermaltake. We've got some ring trios on both sides. They're not actually cooling anything, they're just there for the effect, but I think it looks really nice. You can have just about any sort of pattern with a light in, which I really like. One of the other lighting effects that I've achieved on this case was thanks to EL Tape, which is seen on the top of the case here, the Avengers logo. It's very thin and it can also be cut to just about any shape. Rob, you did a great job on the build. What an insane rig to actually bring to life. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you for the next one.